Welcome to Cinema KC, your own personal film festival. I'm delighted to welcome back a guest we've had on our show before, prolific filmmaker and my good friend, Patrick Ray. Hi, Patrick. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for having me again. Now, this is a great story with a terrific twist at the end. Tell me a little bit about where the inspiration for the story came from. Well, the idea kind of came from my grandmother who um, worked in the garden, and she'd always talk about how she saw fairies in the garden. And tell do you my, believe tell in my fairies? Tell my sister stories. No, no, I do not. <laughs> I just thought it would be a good story. So um, I wanted to write something that was, you know, kind of like a Twilight Zone or Amazing Stories episode that had kind of a little bit of a dark twist to it. Let's get right to it. Mrs. Brummett's Garden from Patrick Ray. so good to see you all again. It's a beautiful day. So nice and cool outside. So peaceful. Reminds me of when I was a kid. Helen! Helen! Oh, well, thanks. I've had this dress for about 40 years now. Adner bought it for me for our anniversary. Glad you Ellen? like it. Ellen! Who are you talking to out there? The fairies, dear. Come inside before your dinner gets cold. Okay, dear. I know he can be kind of rude, but he means well, really. Well, I guess I'll see you all tomorrow. Eat up. Okay, dear. Take your pills. It was a beautiful day today. Mm. The fairies were very happy. Talkative, too. I always have such interesting things to discuss. Would you please shut up about the fairies? There are no fairies in the garden. Jake will be here in about an hour. Jake, what for? It's about $4,000 a month. I guess that's a good deal. We can move her in a couple of days. Started packing some of her clothes. How is she doing today? She spent most of the day out there at the garden. Says she's talking to fairies. 
to her day son when she's just fine. But not many. Honestly, the sooner she's away from here, the better. It's not that I want her gone. It's like she's already left. For the past three years, three and a half years, I have taken care of that woman around the clock every waking minute. Tired son, and I'm frustrated, and I don't trust myself anymore. What do you mean? I, I, don't, I don't know. It's, we're just not the same people anymore, Jay. I get so angry sometimes. Really, really angry. She spends all that time talking to a bunch of flowers and never to me. We used to have such wonderful conversations. I used to make her laugh all the time. You remember? Now the, the only time I see her laugh now is when she's out at that damn garden. And all I can do is sit inside, thinking about better days that are never, ever coming back. Day, it just, it just got worse. And that's why I don't trust myself anymore. Hey, Mom. You're sending me away, aren't you? It's a nice place. Is there a garden? Sure. There isn't a garden, is there? How will I see the fairies? How did you get this? She fell a couple of days ago out by the garden. Probably doesn't even remember it now. I'll see you tomorrow, Mom.
I'm here. Oh, I know. They're planning on sending me away in a few days. I won't be able to see you all again. You've been so nice to me. I really will miss you all. I know. But they're really good people. They just want what's best for me. And Abner, well, he's very old and tired. He can't take care of me anymore. I know. Sometimes he gets a little angry with me. That's all. What? Oh, no. I, I couldn't. I'm too old. Oh, that's very sweet of you. But I will just... Well, let me think it over. It is a very sweet offer. Well, I better get inside before Abner knows I'm gone. Good night, my little friends. We'll be fine. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I thought about it all night. I think it's a wonderful idea. But I'm not sure Abner and Jake will like it. They might get angry. Well, I know I, I shouldn't worry about them, but, well, Jake is so sweet, and Abner... I'm what? Oh, hello, dear. Talking to the fairies again? Yes, I am. We are having a private conversation. Time to go inside. It's only 2 p.m. Come on. What? I said I'm still having a conversation. Now, if you don't mind, I will come inside when I'm Helen, ready. there are no damn fairies. Now, inside. Come on, now. <laughs> Helen's... I've got... Welcome back to Cinema KC and the conclusion of Patrick Ray's Mrs. Brummett's Garden.
I'm sorry. He didn't mean it. Please talk to me. I'm so sorry. They're coming to take me tomorrow. Please. I want to go with you. I'm coming. Looks like a heart attack. Still no sign of your mother. Can you think of any place else she might have gone? No, I don't think so. I think you should take a look at this. What do you make of it, Jake? I don't know. We'll keep looking. I'm sorry, can you guys give me a moment alone? Sure. Stay tuned next time with Cinema KC, your own personal film festival.